Hi everyone! In this video I want to tell you about the updated Epic Spider 3.9 with the following features. First of all, project backups to ensure your data integrity. Then built-in spell check to make your content 100% ready for the most curious readers. And of course, several useful improvements. Let's talk about this in more detail. There are some situations that we cannot predict, like electricity blackouts, crashes of operating systems, and other that may lead to an expected quit from the tool with losing your data. But starting from now, I'm glad to say that we fixed this with project backups. Every 15 minutes, the program will automatically save crawl results to the temporary project that will be opened every time when you open the tool after situations like this one. So, let me show you how it works. Previously, I was scrolling the website for 20 minutes and used force quit from the tool to emulate electricity blackout. And now, when I open it again, it shows me temporary saved project that you can see by word backup in the project name. I want to underline that it's temporary saved project. It means that if you want to create a new one, restart crawling or close the tool, it's better to save the data before doing so. Because if you will not save the project, all the data will be erased with no chance to restore it. So let's repeat. When the tool will automatically save your data? First of all, every 15 minutes of crawling. Then when you click on pause, so if you want to get some insights during the crawling and so on and forgot to save the project, don't worry, you're in a safe place. And also, as soon as the crawling is finished, it also will be auto-saved. So no need to worry even if you absorb to the fullest with the insights from the tool. The second big change in the Pix 3.9 is built-in spell check that will help you to make your content ready for your readers. Let me show you how to enable this feature. Go to the settings, spell check tab, enable this feature, and then add necessary languages. For example, we have English, Russian, and we want to add Italian, but we cannot find it in the drop-down menu. It means that we need to download this language to our Windows system. Yeah, by the way, we use API of Windows to enable this feature, because it's safest, fastest, and the most useful for all Windows users. To download the language, go to the Windows language settings, then add prefer language. For example, let's, let's add Italian. OK, next, install. And as soon as the download is finished, you will see this language in the drop-down menu. I recommend you to use all the languages that can appear on your website here because sometimes there are comments that may be written in some kind of other languages on your website and it's better to check them at once. And also don't forget to add ignore list with the words that you don't want to consider as wrong. For example, it may be your brand name or some new words that may be not added to the vocabulary of Windows. Oh, as soon as we launch this feature, click on OK, enable this parameter on the sidebar, spell and mistakes, and choose where do you want to detect this issue. For example, you can detect it in title, description, alt text of images, or the whole text on, the, on your page. To do so, simply enable parameter where do you want to check uh, spelling mistakes. If you want to check them on the whole content, use words. If you want to check only in title, enable title parameter, and so on. So you can check spelling mistakes in the most important parts of your content. And as soon as I got already crawled project, let me show you how it looks like. To get the report, go to the database, spelling mistakes, and here you will see a list of uh, URLs and mistakes uh, in one table. To do it simple, I recommend you to group the whole table by word column. Simply drag and drop the column header. And 
let's scroll to the bottom to see maybe we can find here some mistakes. Yeah, for example, <laughs> let me show you. Of course, some of them are not issues. For example, surnames or some new words or, or tools names. And if you want to ignore them in the next scrolling, simply right button click on the necessary one and add this word to Windows Custom Dictionary. Okay, and for example, here a dilemma with the double M at the end, or skeptical with the wrong position of the word of the letters, and so on. So here you will find the target URL where the issue was found, what word was a mistake, how we suggest you to correct it, and of course, where was it found? For example, in body or images alt attribute. Okay. And of course, we added an issue for this mistake uh, calls spelling mistakes. And if you want to export all the spelling mistakes at once, go to the export menu, special issue reports and use spelling mistakes summary. That's pretty much it. Um, go ahead and try your website if it's really fine and ready for your readers. And we will continue to the other features. We have added two new little features that will help you work more comfortable in the PicSpy. First of them is copy and paste of scraping parameters. For example, you have added a hundred of scraping conditions to the settings and you need to transfer it to your other computer or to your colleague. Previously, it could take some time to do so, but starting from now, you can simply copy these parameters and let me show you how it works. So delete previously saved conditions and click on paste. That's pretty much it. Just a one click action that will save a lot of your time by doing this monkey job. And the second feature that we have added is opportunity to export only external links. Previously, to do so, you had to export all the linking structure from your website and it may take some time, especially if you, for example, crawl the 100,000 pages website or something like that. And starting from now, I hope you will enjoy the opportunity to export only external links from the tool. And that's it for an Epic Spider 3.9 update. Let's briefly run through the, all of these features uh, to better remember them. So, in Netpeak Spider 3.9, we have added the following features. First of all, project backups. No more need to worry when you leave your computer crawling the website for the whole night, we will save your data. Then, built-in spell check. We will test each page of your website by almost 70 languages using Windows API. Then, opportunity to copy and paste scraping conditions two clicks and all the job is done. And the last feature is opportunity to export only external links, so you can waste no time exporting the whole linking structure. That's it for the Pixpida 3.9. Thanks a lot for your attention. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below or book a demo following the link in the video description. I wish you guys a lot of traffic and a good day. Bye-bye.